Hi, everybody. I hope you're all doing well here in early January 2021. It's been over 10 months, but I've finally done it. Just yesterday, I was finally able to post my first article at my blog at infinitiesreallybig.com in a long time. Dealing with COVID has just kept me too busy with other things, though those were good things. In fact, many of you know that I posted a total of 77 lectures on differential equations and linear algebra last summer of 2020 and fall of 2020. I also plan on making some shorter screencast videos about the intuitive and graphical interpretations of Laplace transforms in the next few months, hopefully leading up to the convolution theorem. But now here's the big announcement. If you like or need help from me with real analysis, then 2021 is your year. I'm going to be doing a bunch of things to help you work through Principles of Mathematical Analysis by Walter Rudin, also known as Baby Rudin. Baby Rudin is the classic text on 19th century real analysis, which, of course, you'll need to know if you're going to learn about 20th century and 21st century real analysis. It's a notoriously challenging book for beginners, but I want to help you get through it and understand it and be successful. One thing that makes it so challenging is that Rudin just produces pretty much polished proofs, finished products, no intuition. These proofs seem magical, like they were pulled out of a hat. They leave you with the feeling of, how could I have ever done that? So, I want to help you do that. And with enough help and practice, you can. At infinityisreallybig.com right now, you'll find my very first article about this. It's titled, Baby Rudin, Let Me Help You Understand It. In this article, besides describing my plans, which do include making some video lectures from Baby Rudin for you, I also describe how to understand the very first place in Baby Rudin where he pulls a formula out of a hat. It occurs near the very beginning of the book on page two, right about there. Rudin defines a set capital A to be the set of all positive rational numbers whose square is less than two, and another set, capital B, to be the set of all positive rational number whose square is greater than two. The set capital A has no largest number in it, while the set capital B has no smallest number in it. Rudin then goes on to two somewhat mysterious functions to help him prove this. In my article, I explore why these functions are quite natural and about as simple as they can possibly be. It turns out that one of the functions can be thought of in terms of iteration and cobweb plots. And in fact, it turns out to be important that this function has the square root of 2 as what's called an attracting fixed point, as shown in this Mathematica animation. Notice that if I plug in a number p less than the square root of 2, then as I iterate this function, the outputs increase toward square root of 2, while if I plug in a number p bigger than the square root of 2, the outputs decrease toward the square root of 2. That's what makes the square root of 2 a fixed point for this function, and that's what makes the proof work. Thanks for watching.